the key to a successful photography career lays in finding that sweet spot where you enjoy what you're shooting and that intersects with the market and what the market actually needs. This is the Cardi method. Once you realize that, it clicks so beautifully. There's no room for purely personal work when you're starting out your business. Instead, your personal work should be a strategic practice to fill gaps in the market within a specific niche, producing work that's better than what's out there currently, not at a lower price, but at a higher quality and adding more value. So this is why choosing the niche, choosing Question. your niche comes before the work. All right, so let's get into the next thing that it's something that I do. And I think that it's super important for all new and photographers that are established niche stacking. You have to understand your market focus and in photography, everything that you shoot has to fall under or should fall under three umbrellas. You're either shooting people, you're shooting places or you're shooting things. Well, it's important to specialize. Okay. Which means you got to focus on one thing. It doesn't mean that you should limit yourself to one specific type of work. Instead, start with one umbrella and then narrow it down to a specific area that you can excel. So think of it like this. Myself, my, my niche is people. And within that people niche, within that people niche, and we're just going to pull up stevecardi.com. I'm a people photographer. My niche is people. And within that niche, I've developed several sub niches. I shoot portraits. I shoot portraits, either personal portraits or professional portraits. I shoot editorial portraits for magazines. I shoot commercial work, which is people based advertising. I shoot music promo from CD cover art to music videos. I do corporate portraits from business promotion to corporate videos. I shoot headshots for actors, for personal, for professional use. I shoot fashion, I shoot professional models for magazine or for editorial. And I shoot beauty. I shoot beauty for magazine editorials. I shoot streetwear, real people wearing streetwear for magazine editorials. And I do so much personal work like art nudes, experimental work. Each one of those sub niches <clears throat> is still connected to my primary focus, which is people photography. But what it does is it allows me to showcase my versatility while maintaining my signature style. So <sighs> there's power in assignment photography. There's so much power in assignment photography. Assignment photography was my stepping stone into the professional world. And it's a powerful tool for any new photographer. So when you're commissioned to do a specific type of image or images for a client, it's called a photo assignment. It's one of the most effective ways to build a diverse portfolio to gain experience and to learn to adapt to different subjects and different environments. And the best part, you get to do all of this within your niche, shooting in your unique style. So let's get into why assignment photography is so unbelievably powerful. Number one, when you do an assignment for somebody, you're building an incredibly powerful portfolio and your portfolio when you shoot these assignments it allows you to demonstrate your ability to meet client needs while showcasing your adaptability the work that you do on assignments 
is a strong foundation for your portfolio and it helps you stand out in a crowded market. Imagine you're competing against people who don't have assignments or who don't seek assignments. Therefore, they have no tear sheets or jobs in their portfolio. Therefore, no social proof. Therefore, this whole thing doesn't actually work. So build a powerful portfolio. And number two is get experience. When you're trying to gain experience, each assignment presents new challenges, new learning opportunities. You'll develop practical skills like client communication, understanding what a brief is like, and the ability to execute projects. You're learning how to execute a project under all kinds of different conditionings. conditions. Shooting to spec is rarely discussed on YouTube, by the way, shooting to spec. And if you don't know what shooting to spec is, it's basically shooting an ad for Nike, but Nike didn't ask you to do it. You just did it based on what Nike is putting out as a brand. You shot it yourself put it on your social media, tag them, put a whole bunch of Nike, re Nike related brand stuff on your portfolio and you market spec work for Nike and then tag Nike in your social media and see if Nike reposts your stuff. So people don't talk about spec work on YouTube, but it's a crucial skill. In my pro accelerator, I talk about specific niche assignments and I give niche specific assignments to execute and I, so I can review them. I mean, this is coming up in these phases. I'm so excited about it. So number three is network relentlessly. Like really, when you think about it, we have to network relentlessly. And there's so many networking opportunities out there. When you're working on assignments, it often puts you in contact with a wide range of clients and professionals. So impress them with your work and you'll build relationships that can lead to future opportunities. Everybody that you photograph has the potential to be a valuable connection if you deliver exceptional work. So assignment photography, it's so important. Number four understanding what your market needs. It's really crucial for us to understand market needs. Assignments give you the insights into market trends, client expectations, and they help you refine your style and approach to meet those developing needs. So you get to understand the market by simply being in it. It's really hard to observe and do this from a distance. So understand what your market needs. Number five, be a pro. Develop professionalism. When you shoot assignments and managing assignments requires strong organizational skills, punctuality, professionalism, qualities that are essential for building a strong reputation in the industry. Notice how I always start right at two o'clock on the dot. Notice how on weekday streams, when I start at six, I always start on the dot. It's because punctuality is part of my professionalism and it's an essential quality that I've always had. Anybody who ever has had a one-on-one -on -one with me, anybody who's ever had a Zoom chat with me, you know, like, boom, I'm there on time. Are you? So be a pro. Number six is the financial benefits. There's so many financial benefits from being an assignment photographer. Well, starting out, is it's starting out as a photographer, believe me, it's tough financially. I've been there, I've done it. Assignments provide steady income as your reputation and your skills grow. For example, I average like, by the way, I average about $1,500 for a 15 minute editorial portrait session. $1,500 for 15 minutes. And by the way, if you want to see how I get these magazine assignments, all you need to do is go on the internet and search editorial portraits 
Toronto. Put those three words in Google, push enter, and see who comes up first. So you're going to see Steve Cardi, photographer. And I don't pay for placement. That is just because I understand SEO and um, I deliver on my promise. So there's huge financial benefits from being an assignment photographer. Next, creative growth. Assignments push you out of your comfort zone, encouraging creative problem solving and innovation. When you shoot assignments, you're expanding your skill sets and expanding your skill sets is crucial to your growth as a photographer. So assignments is problem solving. It's innovation. It's delivering on demand. It's being creative on demand. It's like crucial to your creative growth. Number eight, you get feedback when you do assignments. When you do assignments for magazines, when you do assignments for clients, you get feedback and you get to make improvements on that feedback instantly. Working with clients offers direct feedback on your work, which is invaluable for honing your skills and improving your future projects. When you're doing assignments, especially industry level client work, you can't afford to mail it in. Your best is expected every single time, which is why I do photo reviews here every Thursday and why I give you an incredibly tight brief because that's exactly what a client would do. That's exactly what a magazine would do when they hire you. So in me giving you these incredibly tight briefs and these photo assignments with like an intensity and a deadline and specs, like that's training you for the industry. By the way, if you're interested in joining my photo submissions, just go to this link right here, thecardiomethod.com. You'll see it on the top YouTube submissions. You can't mail it in with assignments and the way that I look at your assignments, the way I judge photographers is very much the same way that an assignment person who's giving you an assignment, a photo editor, art director, and like somebody, a designer, um, an ad agency, like they're going to give you a very tight brief and you're going to have to execute and your reputation depends on it. So assignment photography, it teaches you how to be a pro.